Looking for a discreet surveillance camera? Then here's my unboxing of robot-inspired design. This is low-power PIR or passive infrared motion camera. A T3 model with 4,000 mAh power battery capacity. This robotic design catches my attention. That's why I purchased this on Temu, which around 50 euro. So please watch till the end as I explore this device, and as I unbox, test and showing a sample video of day and night, and if 1080p resolution really applies in this device. The seller description is it's a Wi-Fi home monitor camera. A PTZ means pan, tilt, and zoom. PIR motion means passive infrared motion. Two-way audio, which means on a communication feature that allows both transmitting and receiving audio signals between two devices, enabling real-time interaction. Long battery, well, let's see later as I show if it really has battery longevity. Remote viewing alert and support 128GB SD card. The camera can be rotated up to 180 degrees. And while you are at home and you wanted to protect your privacy somehow or sometimes, then the cover mask design allows you to close and cover the camera lens to be protected anyhow. Since we are in era where technology keep on evolving, and here comes a surveillance cameras which are a big help as a fact evidence rather than a hearsay evidences. Inside the box, of course, the device itself, but let's check it later. So it has a Type-C charging cable that supports 5 volts and 2 ampere. Then the user manual, and scan this QR code to download the BotsLab app in order for you to monitor your place while you're away. And of course, the device itself. Well, first impression? The device is well made, doesn't feel cheap at all. It's a plastic made and the quality is great, quite heavy because of the battery, I may say. Just an overview of the device. So the back view, on the head part, is where the speaker is located. And down of it is the Type-C charging port, then the small hole that's the light indicator. This is where the battery is placed, but be reminded that this is not a removable battery. On front view, the top of the head where SD card slot which supports up to 128 gigabytes, then power button, the reset button, and the light indicator as well. Then this is mask cover in case you want some privacy sometimes. Even though it is covered still can detect noise and the recording is continuous though without video but it has an audio save and the phone will be notified. In this area, the sensor, microphone, and the camera lens is located. For me, the design is really cool and it is really eye-catching for kids, so place this on an areas where kids is out of reach. The point of this design is to be a discrete surveillance camera. As I told you earlier about to download the app by scanning the QR code printed on the user manual, and check this out on how to bind the device and the BotsLab application. Turning on the device, you will hear this. Please use APP for Wi-Fi configuration. Then on the application press add device, then at the back scan the QR code. Then connect this into Wi-Fi. Then select configuration network via Wi-Fi, then enter Wi-Fi SSD and the password, then OK. A QR code will appear, then place this in front the camera till it scan and you will hear this sound. Well, this is connecting. Please wait. Why not connect? Success. Since this can be rotated up to 180 degrees only, then for me the proper place this device to be located is in the corner side. Following the movements of the intruder is a really great features. Moving from up to down and both sideways really works, just make it sure the Wi-Fi is in great status. So when the camera detects human or sounds, this buttons are great help. The video icon serves as save. The moment you press this, it will automatically save the video direct to your phone. Or if you want to capture pictures, then this camera icon needed to be press. Or if you wanted to alarm and talk the intruder, then press this calling icon. 
and if you wanted to talk the person you can use this, since it has two-way audio features. The mute icon is to hide the voice, sounds, or conversation captured by the camera. So how will you know if the device is run out of battery? In the app, tap the video footage and you will see the battery icon. And if you wanted to know the battery percentage left, a settings icon on the top right side, then press that and press the profile. What I like this app is that it is very easy to use. All the detection capture by the camera is recorded according to date and time. So at the end of the day, you can have the time to review who tried to trespass your boundaries. Well, the only thing, it is a seconds video save only. Whereas if you subscribe in the monthly or yearly plan, then you may have full details of events video save. And as I said, here's the sample video of day and night. Forgive me, this is not designed for outdoor surveillance camera. This is just a sample video since my room is too crowded and messy to take a video. I just want to show a sample if 1080p resolution was achieved. And what's your thoughts about those sample videos? Please leave your comments on a comment section below. Thanks. Well, in my opinion, day and night videos are really clear. The camera really works well and the application is a friendly user. So, then what about the battery? In charging time the light indicator is on, and when it is fully charged the light is off. Make it sure you're using a travel adapter that has a 5 volts and 2 ampere to achieve 4 hours charging. As in my test it takes 4 hours to be fully charged. Well, in my test, it takes seven days of usage without charging for a full charge battery. Isn't that amazing? I was really amazed the power of this device. As indicated on the device description, it has long battery life. Well, indeed it is. For me, design, check. 1080p camera, check. Battery, big check. All I can say it is worth buying for. In my test, this is the result. And in the box, it was written 4,000 mAh battery capacity. Just a disclaimer, I'm not saying my test was accurate. But if I am going to compute, 78% of the total battery capacity is in this device. And for the record, it takes 7 days usage without charging, for a fully charged battery. So there's no need to argue anymore in that case. And that's it, if you reach till this video, thank you so much. And please do like and subscribe.